today's classy cut, uh, Beach Boys, uh, Surfing USA, our winner this morning with the Mixed Morning Crew. Judy Char just won herself dinner at McDonald's, and you can win tomorrow, too. You just got to know a song or two. Studio 97 this morning, pleasure to welcome Brad Richardson of the LA Kings and Shane O'Brien of the Vancouver Canucks. Welcome to Mix 97. Good to see you guys. Thanks Thank for having us. Good boy, morning. Shane, you're a big strapping lad, man. Hey, you're a big boy. Thank you very much. It sounds better coming from you. Yeah, than you're a big boy. I mean, Brad <laughs> is not as big as Shane, no, but yeah. He's in better shape. Actually, yes, there, Shane, oh, there we go. Shane looks, <laughs> Shane looks more like a football yeah, player. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, not supposed so to. You're <laughs> like a hockey player. Yeah, you were out yesterday at uh, Oak Lake and Sterling at your parents' cottage. Yep. And uh, O'Brien's up from Port Hope, freeloading off you all day. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Didn't chip in really at all, but... Uh, did they serve uh, a good oh, he meal actually, he barbecued. Yeah, he yeah, cooked yeah, for I, us. Yeah. And I did, he, he and I did pay for all the food, too. But Shane doesn't yeah. make oh, as yeah, much... Yeah, 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 that. Yeah, yeah. Does Shane make as... Do you make as much money as Brad, or does... Uh, I mean, uh, do you uh, know, uh, like... A little, uh, I make a little bit more. Yeah, that's... Just, the, do you guys uh, get... He's uh, younger, though, so he's got more potential, maybe. Do you lads get sick of people always associating professional athletes or morning show hosts at radio stations with big dollars? Like, really? Do you ever get sick of that? No. No, not really, no. Comes with the territory, right? Yeah. So what have you been doing since uh, you got knocked off by Vancouver in the playoffs, Brad? Uh, well, for the first week, probably a lot of sulking and yeah, stuff like that. But after that, it was uh, a little bit of partying and golf and some traveling. Mm -hmm. So that's that's about it. How about yourself, uh, Shane, since you got knocked out by Van uh, Chicago? Yeah, um, pretty much the same thing. Obviously, it takes uh, a couple days to get over it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I hung out in Vancouver <laughs> and actually went down to Richie's... Uh, area down to Hollywood for a little bit and uh, I ripped it up there and it was a lot of fun. What do you uh, yeah. do to recover from yeah. such a, a, a beating from Chicago? Do you do you sit somber in the change room for a, you know, a few hours yeah. or, or do they have like champagne and liquor there for you as soon as you get off the ice or what? Uh, you, you sit around and uh, I was last guy out of the room this year. It, uh, it, it stings obviously. You work so hard throughout the season and mm -hmm. it's over just like that. So uh, mm. a couple cold Coors Lights and uh, it, takes, it takes the Good pain stuff. away a little bit. Uh, if you want to talk to our guests this morning, 962-9700. They will be in the studio for a bit. 962-9700. Brad, good to see you come back home. Uh, you're involved with the big Metagas tournament this weekend. Yeah, we're excited. Uh, playing in the Friday one as well and the, and the Saturday, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Shane's going to play both days, too. and It's always a great and tournament. And are you paying good. for Shane to play, too, as well? Of course. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, now, Shane, Vancouver uh, hosted the Olympic Games, and uh, I remember reading in the Vancouver uh, newspapers that uh, you got into some trouble with the Vancouver Canucks over the Olympics. So, uh, what's that story? Um, I, I wouldn't call it trouble. Yeah. Um, Misbehaving. You know, uh, obviously. Lack of judgment. It was my first Olympic break, <laughs> and... Uh, I may have overshot the runway a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Eleven days off for uh, a 26-year-old single guy. Mm -hmm. um, like you said, with a with a little bit of money to spend, maybe can yeah. uh, can, can have uh, can yeah. have a little bit too much fun. So. Uh, so like he likes his poutines. Eh? The big guy likes his poutines. <laughs> yeah, eh? yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? No, for for those of you, what happened? What'd you do? Uh, Did you end up in jail? No, no, nothing, <laughs> nothing crazy like that. Uh, we had 11 days off, and uh, over that break. Uh, I maybe had uh, too many cold ones on the golf course or uh, yeah, <laughs> not, not, or not enough cardio. And then uh, uh, obviously uh, one day I had uh, slept in past my snooze, showed up a little bit uh, late. Uh, you're supposed to be there about an hour before and I was uh, not quite an hour there an hour before. So uh, Did you uh, get penalized? Uh, yeah, I got in trouble and uh, obviously there's consequences with everything you do in life and you live and learn and... Uh, they find as long as you. guys, as long as guys don't ah, keep bringing it up all the time, it might. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so they find you a day's pay. They find me a day's pay. Yeah, they do that around here too, for like so. Yeah. so really? That's keep, why we showed up so early this you morning. Know, uh, you know, keep that in mind. Yeah, Shane. Hopefully, you can um, follow the footsteps of Brad here. He's a leader oh, yeah. in Los Angeles, <laughs> so always on time, never missing anything. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. You got to be. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was late once yeah. this year, but you got to be sneaky about it. You got to call the trainer, get him to open the side door for oh, you, get in. It. You know, you got to you you oh. figure that out. Yeah, well, if you're playing in LA and there's one camera, where you play in Vancouver and there's 27 <laughs> cameras, enough. you can't really see. You know, I've uh, been following this uh, Kovalchuk deal, and uh, he hasn't signed with anybody yet in the NHL. He's the big star, folks. If you're not aware of who this guy is, but uh, Los Angeles was interested in him. They said no earlier this week. 
And I was reading about where the arena is situated and what they're doing to that part of Los Angeles. You're right in downtown Hollywood with that rink. Yeah, it's it's a pretty sweet setup now. They've uh, really built up the area, new hotels, a bunch of yeah. restaurants, bars. They got the new Nokia Theater down there, which they do a lot of the awards shows oh. and concerts down there. So it's really built up, and uh, they're really trying to establish L.A. as a... One of the great places to play. You know, you must miss home, though. When you're in L.A. surrounded by so much craziness and mm -hmm. celebritism, that when you come back to and Sterling women. and everything's so chill, people don't yeah. even notice you probably no, that's, walking around. That's the great thing about, uh, you know, after the season's over, I hung out for a little bit, and then you, you get to come home and get away from it. So, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, it's a great place, don't get me wrong, but it's nice when you get that release and you can come away and clear your mind, then get back and re be refocused. I know, Brad, you're a country music fan. You love Garth Brooks. How about yourself, Shane? What kind of tunes you into? Uh, I'm a big Jay-Z fan. Uh, I think the new guy like uh, David... The Cuddy or David Gaddy? Yeah, 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 thanks. That one. Sexy yeah. chick. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> Dead Most Five, I saw over Canada and Ottawa. I got to admit, he can really, uh, he can yeah. bring it as well. So. We checked your uh, iPod when uh, the news was on at 8 o'clock, and uh, good to see that you're a Justin Bieber fan, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to get ripped the whole time because I'm from Belleville and he, I'm, I'm, in, I'm from Port Hope and he's from Belleville. That's, the way it goes. That's why I brought okay. you. Right, exactly. that works. I'll be that guy. Mix 97 FM.